Hi, how's it going everyone? So this question is quite popular on the Legends of Runeterra subreddit. A lot of people are asking why Legends of Runeterra is not popular on Twitch. And it doesn't really make sense to a lot of us who believe in Legends of Runeterra. Like we believe that it is the best game ever and mainly because of how generous it is. And because of the whole Runeterra law. I mean Runeterra law is quite interesting. But mainly it's because of its non-pay to win nature. You can create like several meta decks I think within a few weeks of play and you can get an entire set within a few months and that is something that has never happened before on a card game. Every card game is just pay to win right? They are trying to get you to spend money to buy packs and get a lot of duplicate cards and make you waste money to be even slightly competitive but Legends of Terra is the opposite end where you can just be competitive within like a few weeks or a few months and that is very rare and that is very nice because they have kind of solved the main gripe of people when it comes to card game right like the main gripe is just everything is pay to win you need to spend a ton of money to be competitive and Legends of Terra solving that people will assume that they become popular and when it comes to being popular right we need to define it you need to be able to compare to something to know that it's not popular right hence the two biggest comparison is always magic the gathering and hearthstone they are the two biggest game on twitch there are there are a lot of streamers streaming it and there are a lot of people watching it but legends of runeterra is not as consistent as those two games they have a lot of dips during the the asian waking hours and during the american waking hours then it's slightly more popular but they can never beat like these two card games and first and foremost, the main reason why is because it's a card game. Card games in general are not as appealing as FPS games or mobile games. FPS games and mobile games are very easy to understand. I think more so for FPS, their strategy is clear cut. I mean, their win condition is the same, right? It's just kill that person and you win. And it's very exciting, constant action. But Legends of Runeterra card games are not so exciting. And it's very hard for random people or commoner to understand how the game works. I mean, it's pretty clear you need to beat the other person to win. But when it comes to the interaction, the minute interaction, it can be very hard to understand if you don't play the game. Especially for Legends of Runeterra, which has a very complex kind of round system. Whereas Hearthstone is more straightforward. Hearthstone is a turn-based, truly a turn-based game where I do my thing, then I pass the turn to you. There's no back and forth interaction that happens like Legends of Runeterra. There's no complexity to that. And things are very clear. Like my creature attack your creature, there's an arrow. My creature, I cast a spell on your creature. There's an effect, there's a fireball that comes out. And there's a huge amount of randomness to it that makes it very exciting to watch. Epic moments, randomness creates a lot of epic moments. Hence, it, 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 it is the main draw, right? And the simplicity, makes it very like lowers the barrier for people to uh, kind of like come in and enjoy the game so these two factors easy to understand randomness to it and most importantly they are the first digital card game and they have the world of warcraft law backing it up and the world of warcraft law has been around for almost two decades right and you have a lot of very old people people of different ages and being the first kind of just have this very sizable player base that is committed to watching this and they are very intertwined with the twitch growth they have been around since the dawn of twitch and you will realize that like this guy stores started from hearthstone a lot of people have played hearthstone before a lot of popular twitch streamers have played it hence you can kind of see why it's always so dominant because it's so intertwined with the twitch culture so these are the several factors why hearthstone is popular more popular than than Legends of Runeterra on Twitch. And then you have Magic the Gathering. The main reason why Magic the Gathering is popular on Twitch is because Magic the Gathering is a two decades old game. While Legends of Runeterra is only one and a half years or almost two years, there's like people who are at their 40s and 50s who have children playing Magic the Gathering. They are adults. They are almost reaching the boomer level already. And you can kind of see like there's this legacy they are the first training card game hence how can you beat a wow the first training card game right it's such a huge game 
there's a second economy, there's like a market eco economy supporting it, right? There's an actual physical card game. People trade those cards, there's card shops that people playing it. People's uh, livelihood depend on it. A lot of card shops uh, depend on this, and you can kind of see how big this game is. And if you are, and you have such a big like player base, right? Like, of course, naturally, your digital player base will be equally big as well, or almost as close as, as it is, especially in during this COVID-19 situation. So you think about it, Legends of Runeterra being here for two years, it's not so much. The Runeterra universe, I don't think, as much as League of Legends has been around for 10 years, the whole lore aspect to it is not really that popular until recently with the Arcane. It's just getting started. So I think we shouldn't just, we shouldn't jump to conclusions right now because it's not a fair comparison for Legends of Runeterra. It's still so young. So perhaps a good way to look at it is you have to wait for about 10 years where, you know, Arcane is at its, what, 4th to 5th season. Right now you can kind of see where Riot is going with, where they are trying to build up this whole cinematic story universe to bring in commoners, normies, where they are where they enjoy like maybe they watch arcane they enjoy it and they are more interested if they are really interested in it they can play the games so this is where they can be funneled into League of legends if they are casuals they can be funneled into wild reef or legends of runeterra which is a kind of a casual card game right because it has mobile version and then if you are more committed or more dedicated you have tft i mean even though tft has mobile i think tft because of its length, the game duration being one hour, it's not really casual. So yeah, Legends of Runeterra being casual, so this kind of like builds the funnel to drive people in. And also this whole law thing, this TV series keeps people like playing the game, right? Because of all these new campaigns that is very interesting and also this whole law kind of builds meaning to the game that you play. It's not just a it's not a transactional kind of entertainment thing where you just play the game because it's fun. Now there's law, and if you are interested in law, it kind of like grounds you, it makes it appealing, right? It makes you like characters, and that keeps you playing the game. It builds meaning into this game instead of it being like an FPS where this is just a terrorist, this is just a, a soldier, which makes no relevance to you. And the only reason you play it is because your friends are playing it and it's fun, that's all. And Riot building this universe adds an additional element to it to make it more interesting and to build that funnel to grow your player base. So I'm not quite sure whether Legends of Runeterra will become very big on Twitch because as long as Hearthstone and Magic the Gathering is on Twitch, it is very hard because I think the card game player base viewership is fixed. And when you when you carve it, both halves is taken by Hearthstone and Legends uh, and Magic the Gathering, right? And there's only a small pie for Legends of Runeterra. Unless Legends of Runeterra can do something very well to take market share away from Magic the Gathering, it can be quite hard to take away from Hearthstone because Hearthstone is a very different game from Legends of Runeterra. And you'll realize that if you are trying to convince your Hearthstone friend, your friend who play Hearthstone to play Legends of Runeterra, the common gripe is that it's too complicated. It's not, it's not very good for casual players. Casual players don't really like that because they just want to watch a YouTube show and play it casually. I do my turn and then I pass it to you. I don't want to be staring at the phone, just be on the ball, constantly stressed out to play the game. And that's the main reason why a lot of my friends doesn't want to play Legends of Runeterra. All my casual friends, that's the case, isn't it? So the only way that it will work is either Magic the Gathering fumbles crazily or Hearthstone fumbles like crazy then they can grab like a couple of market share from them a couple of players and that's how you can kind of grow from there otherwise you grow, the, you grow the market which is what I mentioned where they have this whole Riot cinematic universe where you build a lot of like you try and drive a lot of like commoners and normies into this game to expand the market share Otherwise, you have to steal from others. So that's how it is. So in in conclusion, it's too early to tell. I I think a good way to kind of like determine whether they are doing well or not, or whether they are successful or not, is five years and ten years time. 
so we wait for three more years after Riot released their third to fourth season of Arkane where they have this whole maybe a League of Legends movie then perhaps you can just relook at it again see whether uh do have a con have a kind of like a equal comparison I don't think it's ever equal but at least we can kind of see where it's going to see whether is it truly popular can it be popular on Twitch or not so that is that and hopefully this is insightful for you guys and if you feel that there are other reasons that is the reason why Legends of Runeterra is not popular on Twitch you can probably leave it in the comments below I think I'll be interested to know as well <music>